Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at some examples illustrating how to compute the or evaluate the normalizing constant of a probability mass function and also calculating different kinds of probabilities. So, the first example is we have a probability mass function defined as Pn of n is equal to c times 1 by 2 power n for n equal to 0, 1 and 2 and it is 0 otherwise. So, our goal, the first goal is to find the value of the constant c. So, uh, from probability loss, we know that the, some, uh, the total probability is always equal to 1. That is, summation from n equal to 0 to 2, pn of n is equal to 1, which is going to be c times 1 by 2 power 0 plus 1 by 2 power 1 plus 1 by 2 power 2 is going to be equal to 1. So, therefore, c is equal to 1 by, this is 1, this is 1 by 2, this is 1 by 4. So, the total is 7 by 7 by 4, so it becomes 4 by 7. Therefore, the value of the constant c is equal to 4 by 7. Next, we want to find the probability of n less than or equal to 1. So, this is basically the probability of an interval, that is probability of all the values of n that are less than or equal to 1. So, we have summation from n equal to 0 to 1 probability of n which is going to be 4 by 7 since value of c is 4 by 7 into 1 by 2 power 0 plus 1 by 2 power 1 which is 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 so which is equal to 6 by 7. Now, let us look at another example where we have the probability mass function defined as c times v square where v is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the other 0 otherwise. So, we have a probability mass function which is defined as c times v square. So, this is a quadratic function and the values of v are 1, 2, 3 and 4 and it is 0 for all the other values of v. So, now the first goal, the first task is to find the value of c, which is again very straightforward, that is from n v equal to 1 to 4, p v of v is equal to 1, that implies c times 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 is equal to 1 by directly inserting the values of v in the function. So, this basically means that v is equal to 30, so c is equal to 1 by 30. So, the next question is, we want to find the probability of the set that v belongs to the square of the integers where the integers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, this basically means that we want to find the probability that v belongs to the set u square which is basically 1 comma 4 and 2 and that is 1 square is 1, uh, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9 but v does not belong to any value, v does not have values greater than 4. So, uh, the only values possible are 1 and 4. So, we want to find the probability that v belongs to 1 or 4, which is equal to basically probability of v equal to 1 plus probability of v equal to 4. So, uh, since value of c is 1 by 30, it is 1 by 30 times v square, that is v equal to 1 square, that is 1 and v equal to 4, so 4 square, that is 16. So, answer is 17 by 30. So, next one is we want to find whether the v, the, uh, a pro, the random variable is equal to an even number that is 2 times u, where u is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, in, basically we are asking the, the probability that the random variable belongs to the set 2, 4, with the set consisting of 2 values that is 2 comma 4, since all other even numbers are not possible for this mass fun probability mass function. So, this is equal to probability that v equal to 2 plus probability that v equal to 4, which is again equal to 1 by 30 times 2 square, which is 4 and 16. So, answer is 2 by 3. And finally, we want to find what is the probability that v is greater than 2. That is, means we are basically asking what is the probability that, that probability that v is equal to either 3 and v is equal to 4, which is again 1 by 30 times 
9 plus 16 which is equal to 25 by 30 that is 5 by 6.